Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, well. How you tell if they're a pair? Because they don't just like say, "Oh, hey, I, you know, I'm Joe, and this is my mom, Sally." Let's go, boys. Hip. Get up there. Hip. You see these thorns right here? So today we're sorting pears, bulls, gathering. We're doing all kinds of ranch work that you will enjoy, and you'll probably learn a lot along the way. Let's go have some fun. Hello there, bud. Well, it is 6.08 this morning. We're gonna saddle up and start moving these cows back down off of this hill into this corral. And then the goal is to separate off very specific pairs. Pair is actually a cow and a calf that match. So a mom and her baby. And the reason we take, that we sort these pairs is they only want certain, uh, um, the certain animals, usually like certain ages to go to certain pastures. So right now we're sorting off cows that are going to the forest service permit. And so they want probably specific ages to do that. So how you do pairs, I'll show you a little later, how you tell if they're a pair. Cause they don't just like say, oh, hey, I, you know, I'm Joe and this is my mom, Sally. You have to actually pick them out and move them, which comes into part of why you tag them when they're calves. So that's what we're doing today. This morning, since Calabar was over in the krill and didn't have any water in there, I'm gonna make sure these horses, this one horse is kind of mean to him. But uh, I'm gonna make sure he gets some water this morning. Stay over there. She's sniffing. So right now in Montana, the days are really long. It starts getting light about 5 a.m. and it doesn't get dark till 10. So the reason we start really early, we don't need that much time in the day, but the reason you start this early is because when the sun's not up, it's cooler. And cows always move better when it's cooler. So um, they're not trying to get stuck in a, in a bush or you know stop and everything so that's why we're going to start right now good morning, good morning tanner good morning. how are you kids doing good. Yeah? yeah you ready to help your dad catch that horse is that what you're doing yeah, yeah. got your breakfast handy yeah. Yeah. muffins um, oh they're like rolls with with meat in them Raisins and pecans. There you go. Yeah. Fresh out of the oven. Did you cook that, Tanner? You know, I can't <laughs> say that I did. Yeah. I'll stick with meat. Yeah, there you go. Cook. I know how to do that. Yeah. Cook. She can cook about anything or bake about anything. Oh, there, black bugger. Yeah. Whoa. You're like, no, oh, are you kidding? <laughs> Well, everybody's ready this morning? Ready. Chipper? Get ready. Oh. All right. Tanner's always excited. He's... <laughs> That's right. We get started. The sun's coming over the hill already. It does that this time of year. It's pretty, pretty quick to its place in the sky, isn't it? 
and and pretty late leaving its place in the sky. Right. right. These are the retirees. Exactly. <laughs> they put in their years and their miles and they're living their glory years. Exactly. They're living the dream over here. Just eat and do nothing. For a horse, that's his dream. But you burn it after you've been up and down these hills enough. Exactly. Hey, boys. Hip, hip. Let's go, boys. Hip. Get up there. Hip. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Hey, hey. Hip, hip. There you go. Sophie, which is Greek for wisdom, but I don't think the name fits her. I see. <laughs> they did. They named her before they really understood what whether she got wisdom or not. <laughs> Sometimes that happens when you name them too early, you know. But it might be a blessing because some horses I would have named something pretty nasty if I would have waited. You know, like Meathead or something might have been some of them. Sunrise 5:31 this morning. Sunset 9:25. Yeah, and it stays, but the half hour of, of twilight is not in a half hour right now. It's more like, whoa. <laughs> He's ready to roll too this morning. Okay, let's go. I'm like, if you only knew how much you had to go today, you wouldn't be that fired up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he knows how much he doesn't have to do tomorrow. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yes. Exactly. Sometimes I really do wish I could explain to a cow, you know, this is why we're doing this. Because they're like, you're moving me out of this pasture that's got all this grass. And they're very unappreciative that you're moving them. They're saving this grass for the fall. But, they, you know, they don't really understand that. And you know how yesterday we moved from far east to far west? Uh-huh. Today we're going from west back to east. Is there as much timber in this one? No, it's no. just one draw right one here. One coulee in the middle. It's not near as big. It's not quite as thick. Willow's coming with the kids so that they can... She's coming with the beaters. Gotcha. Uh, the sound of cattle in the morning. There's something about the sun, of course, it's called magic hour for a reason. When the sun is low in the sky, it just brings so much color to everything. There's some elk right over there. It might, um, I don't think you can see them because the sun is in the way, but there's two elk with their calves. Huh? Get that one every morning. No. Look at them. All There's a bunch of elk down there. Oh, you can hear him talking too. Yep. Oh, oh there's man. a baby stuck down here. He's waiting for him. Two of them. Yep. Come on, baby. So there's some elk at the top up there. <laughs> and there's some elk on this hillside. And then there, there's a couple babies that are behind him. They're squealing at him. There's a bunch of little babies going up with these. Day to day poor poor speech and nice and nice feel knowledge. Don't you feel blessed to be here? <laughs> it's such a blessing to be able to do something like this and see elk. Oh, there's a little baby calf running up the hill over there. Running to her mom. Or his mom, who knows what it is. 50-50 shot. <laughs> anyway, we got to get back to work here. We don't have time to, to gawk at the wildlife all day long. <clears throat> hey! hop, hop, hop. Again, the whip is used to create noise. So what I'm doing with it is cracking it in the air. And that creates noise so that the cows will move away from me. Sometimes even the cows that I can't hey, see cow, hop, will hop, start to hop, move hop. away from me. And they won't if you don't hear that noise. Hey cows, hey cows, hey cows, up, up, up. 
I don't really like to get off my horse, so I try to find a way through all this really thick stuff while I'm on my horse. Hey, cattle, hey! But sometimes it doesn't work that way. Hey! Moving cattle through the brush very often means that you don't see the cows you're moving. You're just yelling into the brush, hoping that they're moving ahead of you. You just don't want to move too fast, because as soon as you start moving through the brush too fast, you'll walk right past something. Hey, cows, hey, cows, hey! And you'll only see them when they're behind you. Yep. Hey, hey! Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Can't get through here on my horse, so I'm gonna have to get off. Go through here like this. Right through this part. This part is really thorny. You see these thorns right here. Through there, there we go. As you can see, I wouldn't have made it through there <laughs> without scraping myself all up. Oh, but whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Yes, you can see this thorn, but for some reason, I didn't. I sat on something. I sat on a... That. That's pokey. Hey cows! Hey cows! Hey cows! Hop! Hey! Hey cattle! Hey cattle! Hey cattle! Hop! 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 Ah! Oops. Hey cattle! Hey cattle! Hey! That didn't work. Hit that tree up above me. <coughs> hey, cows! Hip, 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 hip! <coughs> hey, cows! Hey, cows! Hey, cows! Hey, cow! Hip, 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 hip! Stay! <coughs> hey, cow! They're pushing them down this draw, so if I stay right here. My horse doesn't like to just stand here because he thinks we should be doing something with those other horses. But if I just stand here, then they'll come down this trail and we want them to go that way. So I'm just standing here blocking it so they have to turn to the left, to the right and go around me. So far it's working. <clears throat> hey, cattle, hip! I don't see any more coming yet. So I think we can go across. <coughs> we can go across right here. Ooh, this is steep. Woo! That's steep right there. Okay. I think I got them all right here. I don't see any more. <coughs> hey! Hey, they're thorny suckers. Just one step forward so I can get... Oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is tricky. Trying not to... Hmm. What's the best way through here? Easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna get off. Whoa. So I don't get torn apart here. Can't get my leg off. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, getting uh 
getting back out of here is a little tricky. Is there a better way down there? Zero fun in the brush. Yeah. No, 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 no. There's no better ways in here. No, no, no. Come here. Don't step over the... There you go. Right there. Back up. No, back up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There you go. I just can't go through there without ripping the horse all the pieces in me. Oh, no. With all that thorny stuff. <clears throat> can you make it right there? See if I can do this without getting too wet. Bring him down here. No, not right there. Go around it. Go around it. Come here. There you go. There you go. Right, let's go. Let's go this way. Right here. There we go. That's better. All right. Oh. Okay, turn this way. Turn that way. There you go. Whoa. You gotta stand. You don't want him to stand uphill from me. Or turn uphill right when I start to get on. Alright. Now we can go. Don't go under the bush. No, don't go on the trail. There you go. Cuss the ornery ones, but if they really wanted to, you oh, it'd be really you hard to get them get out of out. there. No, I had, had years where we couldn't. So yeah, we'll swing around and grab these. You guys head to the salt ground here, try to time it with Tanner. Okay, so what they say about Texas getting the cattle out of Texas is, oh. is like it's all like that. Oh, it's terrible. Everything that down there sticks you like deer and, and, and it has thorns. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how the deer live down there. You kill something down there. You gotta wear leather gloves, like thick leather gloves to skin them. Oh, all the thorns. thorns in their hide? Yeah. Goodness. And then you come out in the open and you see all the cows that you chased out of the brush and never saw. Hey, cattle, up. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, bull. Hey, bull. Hey, bull. Trying to turn around on us. <laughs> this time of year the bulls the molder a little bit older i don't even think that's an older bull but some of, sometimes when bulls start quit, quitting the cows because they're not in heat anymore but he's trying to head back hey cattle hop 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 you can see the little, little baby calf there that isn't tagged he was a later one he's still standing there he's like what in the heck is that thing? <laughs> oh, now he's going to take off. Hey, cattle, help! Yep, 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 yep. Starting out to gather, everything is really spread out, and then as they get closer and closer to the gate, they get more and more bunched. Now we're really close to the gate where we're gonna head down to the corral. We don't block this off. We go right back where they went. Yeah. Uh, exactly. We've lost them back there before. Yeah. Uh, 
Hey cattle, hey cattle, hey cattle. Hip, 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 hip. Be down, hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hey, hey, hey. Really sure where the ground is because the grass is so thick. <laughs> now that we got them all gathered into one pen, we need to sort out the big dudes. You really don't usually leave your bulls in with your cows for very long during the year. You give them just enough time to where they should breed all your cows to calve within a certain time period. Anything after that's not going to fit really with what you're doing, your program. They're going to be too late. So when you pull the bulls out, then it makes it so anything that's beyond that point is just open. And then when the vet checks them, you'll know. In addition, on this particular ranch, their forest permit doesn't allow any bulls up there. So to before they can go to the forest permit, they need to pull the bulls out of the cows. Calabar's like, are you sure you want to be right beside this big sucker? That's... <laughs> hip, hip, hip. One thing to watch is when you're sorting anything or moving anything one-on-one, -on -one, you can see that there's a point where if I go too far forward just by a little bit, it will actually stop the animal or turn them back. So you want to be just back far enough to where you can turn them but not stop them. And that is a very fine line, as you can tell. Hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. Come on, come on. Get up here. Hip, hip, hip. What do we got in here? Cows that went back in there because they oh. couldn't get their bull sorted without getting some I cows see. in there, too. So. Okay. But they got two people, three people in there, so they can... Can we shut this gate, While we were sorting the big red bull, the other group got some cows with a bull. So they're trying to take the cows back out and leave the bull in. And just as I was riding through the gate, I noticed there's a bunch of cows headed towards the gate again. So I turned back around. When they pushed all the cows back out, though, they pushed the big red bull back out with him. So I got to go get him back in the gate. Hold up here a minute, bull. Hold up. There you go. Wait till the cows get by. There you go. 
There you go. Let's all go get this one. It's your favorite. Number four is that this The next bowl is not the easiest one to get in, and everybody kind of knows that, so we were prepared. I see. Well, my horse is a little bit of a chicken, so... I can try, I force him in there, but it's... He's like, are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? Easy. The bowl right here. Hip, hip, hip. This is where teamwork really comes into play. You see Jay and Kyle, they're jumping ahead too far, which would turn the bull back, except for my job is to keep it moving. Their job is to keep it from turning to the right. Up, 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 up. Keep going, keep going. Ooh. Good job, buddy. Good job. Being the only one that didn't know which bull was the bad one, I thought we just got the no. bad bull in until Scott broke oh, it to me perfect. that that was the wrong bull. Exactly. <laughs> that wasn't the mean one? Fortunately, no. Yeah. This is typical, though. So the bulls are most oh, likely absolutely. far as away from the gate as you can get. It's the way cattle work. There's a bull. That's the one you're looking for. That's the one, huh? You can hear how loud these cows are being. And that's because we just pushed them in here and they haven't found their babies yet, so they're bawling all over the place. Once they kind of pair up a little bit, they'll be a lot quieter. Is there another one? Yeah. Oh. I see the other one out down there. That other one's a nice bull. We should have some trouble. This one here is the one that gets a little rotten sometimes. Yeah. Looks like he got his butt kicked, so maybe he got humbled a little. Yeah, he might have. It happens. It happens to the best of us. It happens to most of us. Yep. These two calves tried to duck in there and follow this bull, so I pulled yeah, back a little bit, which I shouldn't have done. I should have kept pressure on him to keep him going straight. Whether it would have made any difference, I don't know. Try not to push the calves in there with him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, boy. Got to get some... Got to get some... Well, I gave up because the calves were there, but... Wow. 
Well, let's take him around the long way, huh? Well, should we try to take a little group of cows with him? Once we get over to that water tank, maybe? Take this group. Hey, hey, hey cows, hey cows, hey cows. Hey cows, hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hey cows. Hey cows. Take them all. Wish me that hat. Take them all. Hey, 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 hey cows, hip. Hip. Hey, somebody go in there. Hip, hip, hip. Hey. Come on. I don't want her to go. Okay, let's stay right up on him. Hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. hip. Okay, here we go. Take the cow. Hip, hip. There you go. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, 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 hip. hip. Hey, hey, hey. Nice work, Hannah. There you go. Guess where he's going to go. Job, pretty athletic. Now we're going to start sorting pairs, hey, which means we're finding moms and their calves, Get out of the way, little and we're cow. driving them out into a different pen. My philosophy with sorting is to do it as slowly and calmly as possible. The faster and more aggressive you try to be, <laughs> often the more wrecks and the, the worse the cows get. <laughs> he's, he's thinking he's gonna tag along here. He really wants in. Yeah, he does. You want them to be there able to see go. where they're going and kind of decide to go there on their own. And you just gently suggest which direction that cats, is. Huh? Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can see the numbers. Yeah, on the guys out. Yep. That's fair. 1967? No, 1963. That front one's a pair. What about this one right here? 2140 is a pair. So this one and that one is a pair. The reason I know these are pairs is because their ear tags match. So the calves tag is the same number as the cows tag. There you go. There you go, girl. There you go. Trying to sort two pairs at one time is really tricky, but sometimes you can get it done. Here, go get that cow. Go, go get that cow. There you go. <laughs> there we go. How do you get the number, Sergeant? 2167 and 1963. Good at that. No, I, actually, that might be 21, 2147 and 1963. I didn't have, I was confusing the, the two numbers together, but I, that's what it is. How many, how many are we looking for? I'll just tell you. There's a whole bunch of pears over there. <laughs> thanks, for the, thanks for the insight. Just want to clear that up. I'm sure you guys knew. I just, you know, you I can all. looking for them too. That's right. I can tell you where all, every elk in Montana is right now. In the woods? In the woods? No, they're standing right in their tracks. <laughs> every one of them. That's right. My friend always used to tell me hunting's actually easy. All you have to do is be in the same place at the same time as something else. <laughs> That's true too. That's it. Oh, it's doing that. Exactly. <laughs> Doesn't sound hard when you put it like that, but. Nope. That's a pair. That's a pair. Wow. 
132 or is it? Come on, girl. Come on. Nice and slow, girl. There you go. There you go, girl. There you go, little girl. She doesn't look like she's super young, does she? Big old backbone standing up. <laughs> A 13, so that would be 2013, I think. There you go. There you go, girl. Nice job. Paper easy. That's what I like. Yep. Whoop. Come on, calf. You can walk and poop at the same time. Don't you girl? Yes, you know what we're doing. Yes, you do. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get in there. Good job, Sal. Good job. Yep. 1326. Ten-year-old cow. Done this a time. I was gonna say she acts like she's done this a few times. Yep. Don't work good ones, then they lead the way. Either of you guys want a breakfast burrito? Oh, I want to turn on the other game. They're okay, but <laughs> you're open to have them all for yourself. <laughs> yeah, he's like, they're they're okay. I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd you know say that you should have one, but thank you, sir. Uh, one's great right now. Yeah, one's good. You, you don't want to oh, stop. Want I got some water, thanks. You don't want to stop, though. Yeah. As soon as you stop, roll. well, as soon as you stop, you feel that heat. Mm. Mm -mm. When you're walking around, you don't feel it. This is really a game of can you spot Ooh. the pair and then get oh, there before they separate or get in a huge bunch that you can't get them out of. Sixteen eleven. Up. Yep. Come on, cow. Okay, I got him down here. Watch the bottom. There you go, girl. There you go. Good job. No, don't have the calf lead. That's always a bit... Always a mistake when the calf's leading. <laughs> there you go, girl. There you go. This is kind of like a ceasefire between enemies. So 32 more, huh, Tanner? 32. Plus or minus one. This is a good way to cool your horse off because their legs have a lot of veins in them. So if you stand them in the cold water for a little while, especially running cold water, it can cool off their whole body pretty quickly. My job changed now, I'm in the gate. So that means I do not let anything go that's not a white tag.
We're getting down to the last of them here. So we're looking for three more pair. Like I said, we're only getting the white tag ones, specific white tag ones. And we're kind of running out of white tags here, trying to find three more pair of white tags. So they found one there. So that pair is coming over there. That's the pair I want. They're kind of separating themselves off. So if I go right up here, as long as that calf goes her way, there you go. There you go. Get him sorted off. There. There we go. One more. One more. Is that it? One more? One more after 17, that. 17. So one more, one more pair they gotta find. So they're having to search all over the herd to find one more pair of white tag that's paired up. There's a few out there, very few, but they're not with their calf, so it's really hard. You can't sort them off when they're not with their calf. Because it's you can you could sort the cow off and get the cow over here. To get the calf over here by itself, it's just almost impossible because they don't even know what they're doing. So they gotta really take them as a pair. Oh, there's a pair right there. There's a pair coming right here! That must be that old pair because they don't want her apparently. I'm seeing. Okay, I gotta get myself situated in the gate because they're coming at me. And there's, is it the brockle face? Right there. That's it? Oh, he's hitting back, another hundred. We're just gonna have to start painting orange tags white if that's the case. Cause... I'm gonna get off and get the gate. Go ahead, I'll get the gate. We'll, we'll I'm just back. trying to figure out when to close this gate. So now. now. Yeah. Close the gate now. So demanding, Scott. I mean now please. Yeah. <laughs> now they're coming. Okay, hopefully that gate stays like that. So, what are the odds of that gate stayed shut? Because it's not a real good. <laughs> you got the thing in there? But that's as, as far in as it goes. I'm confident that gate will stay shut. If the gate didn't stay shut, then all the cows in there would get into here, and that would be bad. We'd have to start all over again. Let's go push these cows out of here. Wonder if it's nostalgic for them, like the mother going back to the hospital where she had her baby. So oh yeah. Barn where you were born. Yeah, this is the barn where you were born. They're all they were all calved right here. So that's he's saying. Yeah, they, they're they're like back where they were born, and they think they're going that way for some reason. Hey cows, hip hip hip. Hey. Hey cattle, hip. Hey cows, ho ho ho. Up, find shade to lay in. I'll get up and we'll be again. Exactly. Oh man, that shade is nice, isn't it? That does a lot. One of the great parts about moving cows or working cows or doing like a roundup thing is family. It gets all the family together. There's not a other, not a lot of other lines of work that you can gather around a meal. Right. Kind Father, thank you for the sound of cows and babies in the background. Thank you for hard work this morning, for safety, for a good meal prepared well. Help us to enjoy it in a way that honors you and is responsible. Give us rest and recovery this afternoon before some more work this evening. Thank you for reminding us day by day of your goodness, of your mercy, of your creativity and nature around us, the elk, the grass, the water, the mountains day-to-day -day does really pour forth speech about you. Thank you most of all for your son who bled and died on sinners' behalfs. Thank you for the resurrection. Thank you for new life in him. Let's enjoy this evening, this afternoon, in light of his grace. We ask in his name. Amen. 
so now we'll um, eat some lunch and then we'll wait around for it to cool off again and then we'll move these cows up to where they're going. Where are they going, Scott? Up to all the way to the forest or not quite? No, we're going to put the, the stuff that's left that we didn't sort is going to go on, you know, a pasture of ours up the road. Up the mountain where we were? No, we'll take them up the county road and turn them into a pasture up the road. Okay. And then um, the forest cattle will go all the way to the forest today. Okay. So we, we're going to move one set up the road and then another set up to the forest after we eat. No, not right after we eat. A while after we eat. <clears throat> Am I right about that, Scott? Is it right after we eat or? I don't know. It depends how ambitious we feel and how hot it gets. You eating? Yeah. Can I please? Yeah. What? What is this? Uh, sloppy joes. Sloppy joes? Yeah, it's like a meat that goes on your butt. Is it made out of dead cow? No, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Don't know? Uh, thank you, Willow. <laughs> <laughs> is the meat made from your cow? Well, this is that new uh, certified USDA lab grown chicken. Yeah. I don't know if you guys This is grown in a, in a laboratory. Yeah. Right down the road. Exactly. So the we're on a cattle ranch and we're through and certified. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh. Yeah. It's a big deal up here. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to do this anymore. Yeah, exactly. We don't have to do this anymore. We can just get it out of a we'll wait till high noon. Dish. What's that? We'll wait till high noon and then we'll look for the smoke coming out of the ground where they're burning the grass. If I can, do you think I can eat this while I hold the camera? I don't know. We just, just one or two bites. Right? I don't know why. Mm. Mm. That is really good lab grown beef. He makes the decision for you. Almost like the real thing. <laughs> Almost tastes like the real thing, that's right. There's not a lot of jobs where you no, we were going through that valley. Was just in the middle of the day, stuff. during your work day, you get to enjoy the end result of what you're working on. Very true. Mm -hmm. Well, I also, I think the family, the family part of, of ranching is unique too because very few business opportunity, things in business that you do, do you sit down, do you have these gatherings like for work? Right where the family is gathered around. And what are you doing? Deviled egg. Jay can't ride. I'm like, I'm just in. Look at that. Left handed. Good. It's, it's really good. And it's not lab grown meat, just so you know. It's actual dead cow. This is really good dead cow. Right? <laughs> She, she won't even, she's like, I don't know if I'm going to say a dead cow, right? <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell because next week on Sunday will be the final part of this series. So we're going to take these cattle. So we sorted out, we sorted out a bunch out of there. So those are the ones that are left. Yep. So we're going to take everything that's left and put it in here. And from here, we're going to let stuff that's clean by clean i mean anything that's ours because we got some strays in here that we got to pull out so the clean cattle can can flow that way and get put on the road and when we come to the neighbors we'll shut some gates and then we'll lock up the strays by the barn <laughs>